need to write a review for um, Cheer Up, which will be super easy. It's a graphic novel and I only do like mini reviews for graphic novels. Um, but I also need to write a review for Fire with Fire. And I'm avoiding it because I didn't enjoy the book. Did I read all of it? Yes. But I still didn't enjoy it. So yeah. I finished Dorothy Must Die today. Um, it's one of the books I got from the library, but it was also recommended for me. It sucked. It was not good. It was not a good book. Um, it was super boring and super drawn out and they didn't even answer the questions that I had. So I just... Also the back... Okay, so hang on. I'm gonna spoil this book. Sorry in advance. So this is the book. The back says, remove the Ten Woodman's heart, steal the Scarecrow's brain, take the Lion's courage, and then Dorothy must die. Only you can make Oz a free land again. That's what it says on the back, right? None of these things happen. They don't get mentioned until the last 90% of the book. And then they're like, these are the things you have to do to make sure Dorothy must die. Why did, why did you put it on the back of the book? That doesn't even make sense. Anyway, also Fire with Fire is a, um, an arc that I read that was like about dragons and I thought it was going to be like modern day or like not in the modern day like in the past I don't know like past fantasy and um it wasn't so that was kind of weird and off-putting and there was just like a character that just was so frustrating to read which is really upsetting because the representation of this book was really solid you have a bisexual main character who the love interest is still a man and she is not invalidated in her bisexuality at any point by anyone. There's a conversation about um, being Latinx in um, the South and that was really cool but then like nobody the actual plot of the book was trash. It was trash. It was super boring. I just wasn't enjoying it. Um, it could have been so much more than it was and there was so much groundwork for it to have been so much more than it was but there was a lot of words without a lot of saying anything. And I don't know how to say that in a review. Like, I don't know what the best way, like, professionally to say that is. But I just didn't enjoy it. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna start Renegades probably tomorrow, maybe tonight. It just kind of depends on, like, what I have to do today. But, yeah. I need to write these reviews, and I'm still avoiding them. I'm ready for the Scapegracers sequel to come out. That's all. Okay, thanks, bye. Good morning. We are in my closet today because uh, I need to get ready. My partner is coming to the new house, which is very exciting. Um, and I didn't update yesterday. I like did. Um, I started to and then I remembered I had music playing and that I was gonna need to do something about that. Can we talk about my hair for a second? Cause like, what, what is this? Um, it just keeps getting curlier and curlier, and I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I guess this was the goal. I just, um, didn't, didn't expect this, so we're just gonna clip that back, hope for the best. What have I done? I read Renegades. Did I tell you guys about Dorothy Must Die? Because I finished that bitch and it sucked. The book sucked. Um, but I finished Renegades. Or, I, I started Renegades, I'm like 75% into Renegades. And then, um... Hopefully going to finish Wires and Nerves today. We'll see. Totally depends on how much time I have. I need to film my TBR for May. Like, really badly I need to film that today. Um... But... Uh, I was supposed to film it yesterday, but then Bella and I went to H-E-B instead. I guess it's 8.30 or 6.30, so all my stuff's about to, like go off and play music again and then I'm not gonna update just like last time which was yesterday I gotta stop trying to update around 6 30 I guess you know I'm gonna say that it's background music and just hope you can't hear it um so I we went to H-E-B last night and so that's why I didn't get like the rest of my reading done and that kind of thing it was a good time though because there's two H-E-B's really really close to us H-E-B is a grocery store uh, in Texas and there's two that are really really close to us um we went to that one because it's like one of the nicest uh, HEBs in town, all right? Just Kermit, Super Slide, I guess. One of the nicer ones in town. That's 
and they have like a frozen gluten-free section like a gluten-free aisle and then they have like a vegan section and a vegan frozen food section which um great for me and Isabella who one of us is gluten-free and the other one of us is vegan so um that was cool we had pot stickers last night for dinner it was really really good didn't you fix my eyelashes because one just like left off of my face i really like these lashes these are the falscara um lashes from kit kiss um and they like attach to your under eye um and they make it look like you have lash extensions but the kit's only like 20 bucks and then you can just reuse the um this situation and then just um the wispies and then realistically i think you could probably get individual um lashes and do the same thing with them but uh i don't know yet so i just hate mascara and this like obviously i'm not gonna need mascara so anyway i want to try and finish nerves and wire today and renegades today uh and get those books returned and then like i think all i would have left is white fox which i can read over the weekend um and get returned during the week that's what i want to do is that what's gonna happen i don't know who knows not me anyway i'm gonna go so that i can finish getting ready okay thanks bye
I just finished Renegades and it was surprisingly better than I expected it to be. I'm not a big like superhero book reader and so wasn't really sure what I was expecting but it was good. I enjoyed it. I um, am gonna go play Just Dance and then I'm gonna start, I'm gonna finish Wires and Nerve and then I'm going to try and get a little bit further into Bad Witch Burning which by the way is surprisingly a really good arc. I don't know why I didn't expect it to be good but I just like have not been having the greatest of luck with arcs recently and so this one's surprisingly good. I am enjoying it. Um, total trigger warning for animal death though, like pet death. Uh, it's a huge plot point in this book so. Um, did just film my TBR though so I'm successful today. I just have to edit it which is gonna be... I don't want to do that. It's fine. I'll be back later. Good morning. Hi. Hello. It's Friday. I didn't update again on Wednesday and obviously didn't update on Thursday. I had a doctor's appointment. I was supposed to get vaccinated, but then they were like, no, we can't do it until 3.20. And I was like, okay, well, I won't be in town, so. And then they, I also was supposed to be getting my um, prescription and they were like, mm, it'll take an hour. I was like, cool, that's fine. Um, and then I called back in 30 minutes and was on hold for 30 minutes. Uh, and in that time I checked online and they were like, oh, you can't pick up your prescription until like the 28th, which okay, that's fine. I don't have any issue with that. What I have an issue with is that they didn't tell me that. And like, listen, I used to be a manager at CVS. I used to train people on how to use the uh, point of sale system. I know what the point of sale system looks like for CVS with the, um, with the pharmacy. I know all of that because so when you're a manager at CVS, sometimes they're short a um, pharmacy tech or they need a pharmacy tech, like someone to step in. And so you have to work <laughs> at, as a cashier. And this could have changed because it's been um, five years since I worked there. But um, they have the managers come and be the cashiers. So obviously they can't like dispense meds or anything, but they absolutely can be the ones to like get your meds and stuff as long as your entrance and everything's already set up. Um, the thing that cracked me up about that back then was that I got paid less than the un unlicensed uh, pharmacy technicians. Like you could be a pharmacy technician in training, like you could start as a cashier and then work your way to the pharmacy. Um, and they made more money than I did as a manager. And they were just cashiers, realistically. The responsibilities were about the same. The difference was just that they handled medication slightly differently. Anyways, that is, <laughs> that was my day yesterday. Oh, and then, so like, that was just like kind of a bad day. And um, when it's really humid out, I have a really hard time with my blood pressure and stuff. So I didn't feel good. And so then um, I go to start my car and it acts like it doesn't want to start, and I'm like, ah, yes, time to not alive myself anymore. But then I got it started, and it was fine. And then we were driving uh, back to where my partner lives, and my little tire light came on, and I was like, this is it. I'm done. I'm out. No more being a person. My car's fine, to be clear. So today, my blood pressure is all over the place. My heart rate keeps going from, like, 62 to, like, 120 every time I, like, turn my head too fast or stand up. So that's where we're at today. Love it for me. So much fun. What did I read? I don't even know. I read, I got 75% into Bad Witch Burning. It's good, but I'm like kind of bored. Um, it, it just like peaks up and then it feels like it flatlines for a little while, um, which is interesting. And then I listened to like 50% of White Fox. And I was really enjoying White Fox, but then they like introduced this romance aspect of it, and I am absolutely not about that. So, um, anyway though, this is going to have to probably be the last message today, just because, or last update for the week. I'm probably going to close with the vlog, just because like, I'm not feeling well, and I don't really like to vlog when I don't feel well, and there's a strong chance that I don't get to feeling any better. Um, next week is going to be whack. I'm going to have my EEG and all of that, so we'll see what happens with that, but I'm going to go. Um, I hope you guys had a great week. Thanks so much for watching. 
I will see you guys on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time and again on Thursday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share and all of that stuff. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, thanks, bye.